Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, you know what I keep hearing all the time? Like, people keep telling me, Emma, you don't understand, and you will need a helping hand. Or, Emma, you're still way too young. Just be quiet and bite your tongue. They say, Emma, you don't understand. You will need a helping hand They say, am I yours to way too young? Just be quiet, bite your tongue Maybe I should listen to the ones who say There's only black and white and only one right way All I need is time to figure this all out And why am I waiting on the other side? And why? And a fortune cooking on rainy days And I say to do to do to do to Thank you. Well, I wrote this song called Fortune Cookie two years ago when I was 15, but the way I felt while writing it is still the way I feel now. It's about being just a kid with a lot of uncertainties, but having the power of really wanting to achieve my goals and dreams, and to dare and have the guts to really stand up for yourself and to grab the chances you get, which is difficult because there's a lot of stress attached to it. <laughs> By the way, my name is Emma Balemans. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter from Belgium. Uh, I'm 17 years old, and I'm recently better known as Emma Bale. Um, as I'm sure you all know, being a teenager is already quite hard. And then having a music career, well, it doesn't make it easier. <laughs> I just turned 17, and believe me, it really is weird to already make huge decisions or to tell adults what to do or to be part of real meetings. I mean, I'm just a kid. But can you believe it? I have people working for me, which is super weird, but they're fantastic, and they give me good advice, and they, yeah, they really want the best for me. But as in every job or business, there's also bad people as we call them the sharks in our industry. And they try to change my opinions or try to make me doubt about what I do. And I already thought about almost everything. I mean, do you know how long it took me to decide what pair of socks I should wear this morning? And apparently I'm not even wearing any. <laughs> so yeah, um, but a good thing about my age is that I still live with my parents and they care about me and they give me good advice and they help me with having a music career. Wow, having a music career sounds cool, right? <laughs> For those who wondered, I still go to school. And combining a dream with school, well, it's hard. If I can be honest, it's tough. Um, but, yeah, that's me. Um, studying, or studying, as they sometimes say. <laughs> I went on tour last year, and I missed three months of school. And I missed my exams at Christmas, so I had to study on tour to do them afterwards. And same thing with uh, when I went on tour in Germany. I missed a lot of school, and I uh, took some extra lessons after school to catch up a little bit. And it was a lot of work, and I had to do a lot myself. But I had the drive to really do it. And I think that if you really, really want to achieve something, then it, it, will, it will go that way, because if there's a drive from within, it ha really helps you reaching it. People often think that having a music career um, is just singing a song and enjoying the fame, but it's actually not. It's a real job, and it really takes a lot of work, and I mean, it doesn't end when I come off stage. I feel like I'm working every hour of the day, because I need to post this, post this, upload this, check out my Instagram, check out my Facebook, check my emails, have a meeting with that person, have a meeting with that person, and on and on. And I still go to school. Um, <laughs> But, okay, wait, I'm not complaining, not at all, actually. I just want to say that if you really want something, that, yeah, you really should go for it and that you can achieve it. And it will take a lot of work, but 
in my case, it really pays off because there's nowhere else I'd rather be than on stage. Ever since I was a kid, I was obsessed with sounds and noises. Um, and whenever I saw a piano, I just jumped on it and started my improvisations. Music has always been there. Um, when I got my first email address, I was a little bit afraid, but I started applying for um, TV shows or for auditions for musicals or anything like that. But I never got a positive response. Um, and things stayed that way, and it was quite demotivating. But I just kept on sending emails, and I never gave up. And meanwhile, I tried to be less shy. Because I can remember very, very clearly that uh, I was asked to sing a song in front of my family at a birthday, and I was just so shy that I just ran to the toilet and cried. That got better as I grew up, luckily. <laughs> um, I just began to dare to just sing wherever I was. For example, my granddad, who lives in America and who I sadly don't see very often, he came over and as we were dining in a restaurant, he asked me about my singing and he never heard me sing before, so I just got up in the restaurant and started singing If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys, um, which is quite funny if I think about it. It's ridiculous, actually, but it's funny. I was getting more confidence because of the compliments. And then when I turned 14, the unbelievable happened. One of my emails got a response, uh, a positive one, actually, and it was a response from one of the biggest TV channels in Belgium. They asked me if I wanted to audition for The Voice Kids. I thought I'd get a heart attack when I read that, a little bit like you. <laughs> um, but I auditioned then by sending a little video of me singing, and, but I kept in mind that I was probably going to be refused again. <laughs> Sounds quite pathetic, I know. <laughs> but I actually got through. I got through blind auditions, and two out of three coaches pushed their button for me. I got through uh, the battles, and then right before finals, I quite uh, messed up my sing-off because I started singing on the wrong notes. So I was out. I was disappointed, but most of all, I was hurt because the whole country had seen me fail live on TV. Five months passed, and I felt like things were slightly coming to an end. And I really didn't want that, because I loved music. But at the, on the other side, I was too afraid to send Hans Franke, the music director of the show, a message. Because I didn't want to be pushy. And that's when my mom taught me, I think, my most important life lesson. She said, Emma, if you never try, you'll never know. And if you want it, then just go for it, because it's your dream. So I did, my message was sent, and he replied immediately. Um, he said that I was very welcome. So a couple of days later, I was standing in front of his door uh, with shaking knees, like, now at the moment, I'm glad that I'm wearing a long dress so you can see them, because I'm like, <laughs> Anyways, uh, we had a wonderful afternoon, and we recorded a cover of All I Want, which is originally written by Codaline. And a couple of days later, Hans asked me if he could send it to the radios. And I was like, really, what? Um, I was quite sarcastic about it because I didn't think anything would come out of that anyways. But it actually did. Um, all I Want became number one in, on iTunes, and all of a sudden, my name was appearing everywhere <laughs> I looked. So it was really bizarre, and yeah, I, I couldn't believe what was happening to me. And then, uh, my first performance as Emma Bill, I got the opportunity to perform in a venue that was made for 21,000 people. And I got to do it four times because I was asked to be the support act of a very well-known band in our country called Cluzo. Then my second single, Run, came out, uh, and that was, again, a number one hit, and I also got a golden record for it. And then my third single came out, uh, which is Fortune Cookie, and I played it at the beginning. Um, and I, it was also a number one hit, and I got a golden record for it, too. So yeah, I think if I'd write a book about my story, it definitely would begin with uh, Once Upon a Time. <laughs> I am just so glad that I kept believing in myself and that I dared to send Hans a message. So if I reflect on all of the things that I've done till now, there's probably going to be the keyword. Um, last summer, I performed on uh, Pink Pop, which is a huge festival in the Netherlands, and there were like 60,000 people singing with me. Um, and oh, by the way, if you want to uh, know what 60,000 people looks like, then you should definitely check out. <laughs> I 
also got the opportunity to play at Rockwerchter, which is a huge festival in Belgium. Also at Locusse Feest, also a huge festival in Belgium. Uh, I went on tour in Germany, Belgium, and in the Netherlands, which was a very cool experience too. Um, Lost Frequencies remixed one of my songs, uh, Run, which is still going strong on Facebook, uh, on Facebook, <laughs> on Spotify. And um, I also went to Brazil to shoot the music video for Run. So yeah, it's been a roller coaster and it's been crazy. But I have achieved all those wonderful things just because I dared and because I casted aside my fears for failure. A really cool thing about being a today's artist is that you can be free to be yourself. You can be as different as you want to be. And with social media, there are no gatekeepers anymore, such as um, journalists or radio stations or television. Another cool thing is that you can create a fan base with tons of nationalities. Here's an image that shows where my fans actually come from. <laughs> I think it's quite impressive that uh, music reaches the whole world via social media, isn't it? So yeah, but it can be a disadvantage too, um, because it goes both ways. People can post any rude comment they want, and they often think that it doesn't reach the artist, but sometimes it does. And yeah, it's logical that it's not fun to read mean comments, but uh, I've learned along the way that you should hold on to the positive reactions and so yeah, I I'm kind of used to it or something. <laughs> um, another cool thing is that I, I, I like to really um, look how other artists work with social media because there are so many ways to bring over a message. Um, and being creative the way you post something or how you bring over your message, like in a video or in a photo, in a text or in a GIF, um, it really describes your image. I like to be playful and honest and transparent. Well, I hope not this time because that would be awkward. <laughs> But you can definitely find that back in how I do my socials. And I manage them all myself, by the way, for the ones who doubted that. The way you manage your socials, it really makes you different from all the others. And um, it makes you really stand out of the crowd. Um, and it's the same thing with actually Instagram, because if you check out on a couple of profiles of your friends, you will see that they're all different, right? Well, it's actually the same thing. Um, it's a mood board for how or who you are as a person or as an artist. It actu it's actually the, m the modern way of expressing yourself through social media. Being different is a keyword or a key element that I don't want to ignore. It's easy to copy a song or an artist or an idea or even a business, but that's not how you will get noticed and that's not how you will stand out of the crowd. And it's actually not about trying to be different, but it's like it's about really using your own personality or your own ideas that really makes you different. For example, take Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla Motors. I am always so inspired if I look at the way how he did everything different than all the others. I mean, did you ever sit in a Tesla or drive a Tesla? It feels and looks insanely cool, right? Same thing with Steve Jobs. I admire the way he kept on designing and finding new fresh methods, and the rest is history. I just want to say that you should really be yourself in doing what you love or what you want or what you want to achieve. Don't copy because it's not you and it's not different. Be you and be different. Um, I'd like to end with these three key elements as they were my three Ds to success. Uh, till now. <laughs> the first one is find your drive. Find something you really want to fight for, like your passion, your talent, your motivation, or your perseverance. The second thing is dare. Dare to jump into the unknown and dare to fail. As older and wiser people always tell me, you will regret that you didn't try. You won't regret that you did. And if things go wrong uh, along the way, it's okay because you'll learn from that. And the last thing is be different. Don't copy because it's not you and it will not make you stand out of the crowd. Be you and be different. These three Ds, drive, dare and different, they are hard, I know that, but they're worth it. And that's why I'm standing here, for example. I was so passionate about everything I've talked about for the last 15 minutes, I think, that I wrote a song about it. And if you'd allow me, I'd love to play it for you guys. <laughs> Thank you. The song is called Worth It, by the way. <laughs> Running 
through the dark, scared of every single spark for so long. Felt like I was never me, and the body couldn't breathe for too long. And getting ready for our breakdown, I've lost some precious time now. But as soon as we hit the town, no gravity can hold us down. It's what you do, do, do. Awakened by the sun when our hearts collide, running to the fight, lighting up the sky. Cause even if we lose all we had tonight, it was worth it, it was worth it. We can do the fall, cause we felt the highs, breaking through the walls, cause we've seen the other side. And even if we lose all we had tonight, it was worth it, it was worth it all the time. It was worth it, it was worth it all the time. Flowers bursting out their butts, all the water turns to floods to go on. Sit by the heat of the heart, the smell that dies all through the dawn, it's all done. It's what you do, do. Awakened by the sun when our hearts get light, running to the fire. Lighting up the sky Yes, even if we lose all we had tonight It was worth it, it was worth it We can do the fall, cause we felt the highs Breaking through the walls, cause we've seen the other side And even if we lose all we had tonight It was worth it, it was worth it all the time it was worth it, it was worth it all the time It was worth it, it was worth it all the time Thank you. <laughs> By the way, um, don't, don't run away, please. Um, there's a fortune cookie under your chair, and if you'd like to just grab it, and please don't open it yet. <laughs> well, um, don't open it yet, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you know what will be the message inside? No, you don't. And it's the same thing with achieving dreams. Um, you don't know what you're going to expect or if you will get what you expected. You don't know if you're going to achieve. And now you can open it. <laughs> and as everyone has noticed, the paper is blank because it's for you to fill it in. It's for you to achieve your goal. Thank you. Yeah.